I told you. I told you. A year ago, I told you. The NCAA was coming, and they're bringing a big hammer to Oxford, Mississippi. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Look, if you if you just found out about this this old Miss situation and you're surprised, well, where have you been? Uh, old Miss is the most blatant example of of paying players right out in the open. Uh, that I've seen in my lifetime. I mean, you'd have to go back to the SMU days, which, I mean, I was alive for SMU, but I was a little kid, so I, you know, I'm not going to sit here and say I remember it. That's how far back you'd have to go to see a bunch of idiots, this out in the open, uh, about paying people. I mean, I could go through and list off the, the players, what, Laramie Tunzel, what, UGA recruited this guy for four years. He was all dog. Ole Miss recruited him for 36 hours and signed him. I mean, and, and the list goes on and on and on. Uh, the Kimdichi boy, I mean, I could, you can name him. Uh, look, listen, listen. How do you go from having the 45th best recruiting class year after year after year after year after year to having multiple top 10, top 5 classes in a row? How? By paying recruits. This was the worst kept secret in the history of college football. So any of you idiot Ole Miss fans, if you're surprised by this, then you've had your head buried in the sand. Big time. And you know, and, and look, listen. I, and I, I said this when we played Ole Miss this year too. At least Southern Cal won something! You guys bought... Every single player you could have, you could find, and didn't win shit. Nothing. Nothing. <laughs> I get. You know what you can do? You can take this infractions letter that you get from the NCAA, and you can put it in your trophy case right next to your trophy that says, "We beat Alabama in twice in two meaningless regular season games." Wee! That's the best you could do. That's the best you could do. You were buying players like Tic Tacs, and you weren't even trying to hide it. Your players were going on national TV after they got drafted and thanking you for the money. And then you come out, they, Ole Miss comes out with this big 10 minute video today. This poor, pitiful me. Oh, we didn't know. We didn't know. Uh, wrong. Uh, you knew. Uh, quit, quit lying. Quit making stuff up. Then, oh, then they say, we're going to self impose a one year bowl, uh, bowl ban. Eh, try again. Try again. The NCAA is going to laugh at that, you bunch of jack legs. You guys, listen, listen. You're going to get the Southern Cal treatment. You're going to get, you're going to be, you're going to lose scholarships for the next umpteen years, five, six, seven years, whatever it is. You can forget about going to a bowl game for the next four or five years. Not happening. If this was 15 years ago, you'd get the death penalty. You really would. You'd get the death penalty. Oh, and you're going to forfeit your percentage of the profit sharing from the SEC. <laughs> well, yeah, because we know what you've been doing with that money. And look where Ole Miss ended up this year in recruiting. Way down, far down the list again. Why? Because the NCAA basically moved in to Oxford and was watching everything you did. So you weren't able to pay the recruits for this class. So what happened? You're back in the toilet bowl when it comes to your recruiting rankings. Man, this is pathetic and sad. Sad! You know, when I jump on Southern Cal people, or, uh, hell, even Georgia Tech people, what, that one, they won the ACC a few years back and had to go back and vacate it. But you know what they say? And to a certain degree, to a certain extent, they're right. Well, yeah, technically we don't have the title, but you can't take away those memories we had as a fan and blah, blah, blah. And, and that's true to a certain extent. Oh, Miss, what memories do you have? None! You beat Alabama in a meaningless regular season game. That's it. That's it. 
So I hope it was worth it. Hugh Freeze, pack up, you're gone, buddy. Show cause letter, you won't work in NCAA. Nobody hiring you, sir. Nobody hiring you. You're not a good coach. You're not a good coach. You, you were a GM. That's all you were. You were a GM. We'll take him. Uh, we'll take him. Uh, we'll take him. And you were way over the salary cap. Cheaters. You know how they say cheaters never win? Well, in this case, uh, they're actually right. Because you cheated like no other and didn't win shit.